Hello everyone and welcome to the session on cloud cryptography. One of the major risks of cloud computing and accessing is its security concern like data breaching, account hijacking and loss of the shared data stored in cloud. This can be countered by the implementation of an encryption technique which can act as a shield for all the data stored within the cloud. This encryption technique is known as cloud cryptography. It adds a solid layer of assurance to tie down the data so that it couldn't be penetrated, hacked or impacted by any kind of malware. With cloud cryptography, regardless of where the data goes inside the cloud computing services, it will always stay secured. Let's understand how cloud cryptography works. There are basically two essential types of cloud cryptography techniques which guides through all of the encryption processing. The first one being data in transit. In this step, the data moves between the endpoints. The data in transit encryption happens when you visit a site on the internet and it can easily be seen also as all the addresses of web pages start either with HTTP or with HTTPS, which does the job of securing the data of that site or page by providing a layer of encryption around it. The second one being data at rest. In this step, encryption of data put away on the cloud network guarantees that regardless of whether the data is lost, taken or erroneously shared, the items are practically futile without the encryption key. Just like data in transit, description and encryption of data at rest is also overseen by the product application. Now let's discuss about the benefits of cloud cryptography. The first benefit is that it offers total security of all the sensitive data while it's moving or very still across any gadget or between clients. The second one is that it provides compliance for the encryption of all the sensitive client data. The third one is that it provides integrity in detection of the alteration of encrypted data. And the last one being that it reduces the risk of all the legal actions related to any security related event. Now let's discuss about the algorithms on which cloud cryptography is based on. The first one being symmetric algorithms. They utilize just one key both for encryption as well as de decryption of data. It doesn't need a lot of computing resources and works exceptionally high in encryption. The second one is asymmetric algorithms. Unlike symmetric algorithms, asymmetric use different keys for decryption as well as encryption and a decryption key. Often referred to as recipient's private key is required for each recipient. They are the safest considering algorithms. The third one is hashing. It is one of the main parts of blockchain related security. At the point when an information block is added to the chain, an interesting code or hash is added to the particular block. It is principally utilized for ordering or recovering things in a dataset. It also uses different keys for encryption and decryption. In this ever evolving and developing age of industrialization, all the industries, no matter how small or big, carry a vast amount of sensitive data that has the utmost priority of being secured. Otherwise, any malware or horrendous activity may prove to be fatal for that organization. Therefore, it always should be secured and for this purpose, every organization is moving towards cloud cryptography, which makes this task much easier and more efficient for everyone. Thank you for your time guys. Have a nice day.